Hey team, we've got a great little core workout for you today. Now this one's going to be based around stability. And what we mean by that is it's going to work the deeper core muscles. So a lot of the movements we'll be doing will be based on small range of motion and more static holds. So what that'll do is build a real strong foundation which will allow you long term, once you've got the, the stability there, to start adding the strength and the speed on top. So here with Lisa today, we're just going to take you through, take you through um, six exercises that will really help to hit every part of the core. So first things first, Lisa's going to bring her legs up at 90. Now first thing she's going to do is draw her belly button towards her spine. Now a good way to imagine that is that someone's standing in a room underneath you, piece of string on your belly button, they're just pulling lightly. As they pull, yeah, bring your core or your stomach muscles in towards your spine. Feel that Lisa? Good start. From there she's going to let one of the heels, doesn't matter which one, tap slowly to the floor. Now she's doing that under the control of her, of her core. Now as you get stronger, you'll be able to take the leg out a little bit further. The key you want to be working on here is making sure that the lower back doesn't pop off the floor. If the lower back pops off the floor, it means you've lost the integrity of the core and you've lost control. You're putting more pressure on the lower back, which we want to avoid. So it's a controlled movement, it's a slow movement. So again, you find it challenging, you take the legs just for a small range of movement. You find it easy, you take the legs further away. More movement. Good job, Lisa. Thanks. Nice work. If it's real challenging and you do get back pain for any reason, drop the legs down. You can do it in reverse. So all Lisa's going to do now, starting with this leg, is pull it slowly back. So she's doing exactly the same thing, but she's just going to have a little bit less load. So if it is real challenging, start with the legs down and then progress to the other options. Nice work. Good job. From there, Lisa's going to come over into plank position now. We'll start with actually Lisa, just lie out flat on your front, we'll go for the back extension. Okay. So from here Lisa's going to have her arms up like so, good job. She's going to keep the glutes switched on, toes are into the floor, she's keeping the glutes switched on or her bum muscles to make sure that she's stabilising through the, through the, the uh, lower back area. She's now going to lift slowly up and squeeze back and down with the shoulder blades. Nice Lisa, good job. Slowly back down, so it's quite a small range of motion. But she's getting all the muscles in between the shoulder blades fired up, muscles of the lower back working. Good job. Again, you control range of movement. As you get stronger, you'll be able to squeeze a little bit further. If you're finding it very challenging and uncomfortable, keep the arms down, Lisa. And now she can just push up using her arms as a little bit of support. She's still got the same alignment with her neck and spine. All she's done now is drop the intensity slightly. Just making it a little bit easier. Good job. Good. From there, she's going to spin onto her back. And she's going to go now for a floor bridge. So first option is both feet down on the floor. Feet about hip width apart. She's going to drive up. Good. She drives up. She's got the core switched on. Belly button in towards the spine. Squeezing with the bum. Good alignment with the hips, knees and ankles. But she's just pushing out slightly with her knees, so she's activating the little muscles on the side of her hip. Feel that working, Lisa? That's fine. Good job. Now, those of you who've got the control and stability, what she's going to do now is just kick one leg out to the front. And now keep the movement going. Slowly up and down. Now, as you watch as she come up and down, she's got a good balance through the hips. She's now just putting all the emphasis through her left leg. Good, and switch to this leg, Lisa. And as she drives up, she's driving through the heel. Good. Again, full range of movement with the hip. You can see how Lisa's hip is opening fully. Core still tight, no unwanted movement through the hips. Good job. From there over to hands and knees. Now here, team, we're going to think about left arm, right leg. So the hands are going to be dropped below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Great exercise here for the posterior chain, all the muscles down the back. So as one of the arms comes forward, the opposite leg is going to kick back. Watch how long Lisa reaches. She's got a good range of motion, good length in the movement. The bum's working, muscles down the back of the legs, right the way through the back. And she lifts up a little bit higher with that arm, get good activation through the shoulder as well. Slowly down, the same on the other side. Nice work, Lisa, great. 
This is one of those exercises, if you walk past someone, guys, it looks easy. When you get down and if you're doing it properly, it's not so easy. You're having to work so many different muscles. Note as well, guys, we're just getting to hold there, Lisa, how square Lisa's keeping herself. We need to imagine you've got a headlight on the front of your hip and that headlight is shining brightly down onto the floor. If the headlight ends up shining out across at the wall, you know the hips have twisted. Keep the headlight shining down. One more each side, Lisa. Good job, good work. Yeah, from there when she's ready, Lisa's gonna drop down into a plank position. Now she drops down, note how she drops her elbows below her shoulders. They're not too far forward and not too far back, so we're not putting unwanted pressure on the shoulder joint. Now in this position, she's got her core switched on, we've got good alignment through the neck and spine. If you check that out guys, it's a nice good alignment right the way through. She's squeezing with her glute muscles as well, so she's got that stability right through the lumbar pelvic hip complex. Now she's tight and if she's comfortable, this is option one, you can now come up onto the toes. Now as you get used to holding here, again option two, we've got a third progression here for you as well, lifting with the legs. So she lifts up, she's squeezing with the bum from one side to the other. Note how little movement there is through here as she does that. Note how everything stays stable up here and there's little movement through the head as well. Nice work, good job. From there, Lisa's gonna stay in the same position but she's gonna come onto her side. So the elbows are below the shoulders again. And option one, Lisa can just come up onto her knees. Now she lifts up to her knees Again, she's lifting through the waist and through the hip. As she does that, she's still got her hips open. So as you guys come up, you lift through the waist, squeeze with the bum and push your hips forward. Now progression-wise, she can come up onto the toes, as she's got there. So again, she's got a good range of movement, got the arm up. Feel that through the waist? Yep. Good job. Flip to the other side. Again, option on the knees, elbow below the shoulder, belly button drawn in, hips come high and hips are open. Onto the toes, as you come to the toes you smile. Nice control, perfect. So that little circuit, you can relax there Lisa, that little circuit guys, again, you'll pay attention in your program to reps or time that you're doing it for, but it's about building a strong foundation. It's about building stability, so that when you move forward, you can do more and more and more. Enjoy it and drop us a message at the info if you've got any, any questions.